today I want to talk about your birth team and if in fact you want one. There's so much buzzing today about who you can have in the delivery room, who can be present, who can help, but sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out who does what and in fact if it's up your alley. So I want to break it down for you today and tell you all the people you might be able to have. But before I do, I want to just talk about what's really important. What's really important is that your baby comes into this world and is healthy and that you're healthy too. And you have a team of people around you that make you feel good and help that process be easier. And it's really important to remember that no matter who you decide to be on your birth team, if you change your mind your moment, that's totally fine too. I had images of candles, butterflies, and lullabies. <laughs> Let me tell you, in the moment, all I cared about was somebody holding my hand, my doctor, and people coaching me like I was in the Super Bowl. So your feelings may change, and that is fine too. So let's break down the birth team. First of all, there's the OBGYN, the obstetrics and gynecologist. This is your doctor. This is the person you really need. The obstetrics part being the baby and the gyno part being the lady town. Now your OBGYN is trained in surgery so they can also perform C-sections. The next type of person that you might want on your team is a midwife. Now midwives are trained in the normalcy of birth. So if you have a high risk birth or delivery, they're going to defer to an OBGYN. Now this is where it gets confusing. There are three different types of midwife in America. There's the lay midwife that don't have any traditional qualifications. They're normally qualified through experience or self-study. The second type of midwife is the certified professional midwife. They have met the standards of the North American Association of Midwives. Now, they don't have insurance and they don't necessarily have any type of nursing qualification. The third type of midwife is the certified nurse midwife. This midwife has graduated from nursing school, they are a registered nurse, and they've also done additional qualification. And they usually work in tandem with an OBGYN. So it's whew, a little confusing here. Three types of midwives. You need to interview them if you want one, find out what qualifications they have, and also find out their experience in the trenches, actually in the delivery room. Now, the other person you can have in the delivery room is a doula. Now, you hear the word doula a lot. Doula actually is derived from the ancient Greek word female servant. And a doula is there really to help you in whatever way that means to you. They're there to help you during pregnancy, during delivery, but also postpartum. So it's really important when you're looking for a doula to see what help you need and if they can provide the help that's useful for you. The other person that can be in the delivery room is of course your partner or a family member. And with them it's really important to communicate as with everybody else what can be most helpful for you. And to remember that you might change your mind in your moment and that's okay too. So try and try and enjoy this process. It's going to be one of the most amazing days of your life and you'll never forget it. Follow me at Rosie Pope for more useful information or go to rosiepope.com and if you have ideas for videos you want me to make, just let me know.